I just realized I switched over to this layout at some point when I was doing this layout for Splatoon. Oh yeah, that's because we were tinkering around in like Bluetooth settings. I need to turn off my display capture here. That's what I gotta do. Where did I turn on my display capture here? The Stop showing my Bluetooth setting. There we go. Jeez. Um, let's see here. Looks like my doogie has schmooved next to me. I'd rather be next to me right now, so I'll adjust the uh, doogie cam. That's what I'll do to uh, right next to me here. There we go. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Hey. Um, holy mackerel pancakes, Agent 3. You're really good. I've seen better. If you keep this up, we'll find the great zapfish in no time. That's great and all, but don't forget about the cap'n. Scrapey scratch. Who is this? <sighs> Incompolis. Nobody cared who I was until I put on the mask. Ah, it's the final boss. Give us back the great zapfish, you jerk. And Captain Cuttlefish, we want him back too. Incompolis is mine, yo. Dude, seriously, get your own radio channel. Agent 3, you gotta do something about this guy. And quick. Okay. Yeah, it's a super scary man. But yeah, I can look into that program for, uh, you know, testing out stuff with the controller after we are done with the platoon stuff. Because my map says that, well, right now my map says look at the TV is what it says. And I think that, okay, I was about to say I don't think I have that much cable length for my Wii U gamepad because I think I ran my chair wheels over it again. But it's, uh, it wasn't lodged in super hard. Wait, where am I going? This way? I wasn't actually paying attention. Was it this way? Like up here or something like that go to the next area, but yeah according to my map here There's five areas and this is the final one So there could always be a secret sixth one But uh, this could just be our final bit This is what it could be All right, well Well, there's that is that a freaking squid rock in the background Last area and the worst level design of the entire game. Oh no. So we really are gonna beat this one session then. Wow, crazy. I was expecting this to take two sessions. So maybe next week we should go immediately into Splatoon 2. Or we could take breaks between games. I like having breaks between playthroughs. So we'll consider that. But what am I gonna do for like my weekly game next week at this time then? <laughs> if Splatoon 2. Or if Splatoon was only good for like this one this one session. I was thinking of a different level, but pretty sure you're not. This looks painful so far. This goes up so slowly. What the hell? My goodness. Well, here's our first one. Save six more zapfish. Six more to be saved. And if ever I get stressed, I can reach over and pet the stress relief doggy. Yeah, you. The stress relief doggy. All right, a splat switch. I've seen one of those in a while. Ow, what the heck shot me there? The heck just got me now. Okay, well, I assume I keep on splatting the splat switches. It sure seems like, like we did with that previous one. Hi. This is, um, interesting, isn't it? Checkpoint. It looks like my doogie has already been fed up with my speaking and whatnot. Only just started laying next to me and already fed up with me by, uh, putting her paws over her ears. I mean, she's the one that's choosing to lay next to me. She was laying on that back couch, but she was like, nah, I'm gonna change things up and lay right next to you now instead. Whoa, how about you don't? So yeah, going into about to fall asleep watching streamer mode already dumb. Have a good lurk there. All right, booby bop, we'll make our way. Oh, you slowed me down with that. It's fine, we can recover. It's fine, we figured it out. Yeah, how about you don't? Oh my good gracious, what is going on over here? Good lord, what is happening in there? Aurora Borealis? Do I need to like tap ZL while we're there or something? Wait, what have I got to do there? What have I got to do over there, huh? I am curious. Do I splat it again? No. Doesn't seem like... Oh, there's a splat switch right there. Is the case. So now we can make it over. Whoop, there's a. <laughs> what? There we go, geez. It was just a little bit rigged at first. Maybe a wee smidge. Hey, how about you don't? How about you don't do the thing that you're planning on doing there? Do I have to take them all three out? Something? Apparently, I did have to. 
And now we go after our snipers out here. Sniper squids. When it comes to the freaking squids, whenever I think about Splatoon, I'll always think about the freaking going live meme that I posted when I went live with the stream today that I've had in my folder for a good while and it always cracks me up. Of this Miiverse post of this one guy going, man, I wish squids were real in the Splatoon community Miiverse thing. It just cracks me up. I heard the team is naming Pokemon that you fell asleep watching you. Oh, with Pokemon Platinum the other day and whatnot. Boopity bop. Smack root at Swatch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Up we go. Up we go. It says Bluetooth adapter, right? When you try to connect, you have no wireless stuff near. You have an adapter near yours. When you have your headphones connected and the phone right next, and it's kind of cutting. I have that, like tiny little USB thing that goes in. And I also have like a Xbox specific wireless adapter, this thing here, when it comes to the Xbox controller. So I have like both Bluetooth and Microsoft freaking wireless adapter options. Hi, silly doggy. Wait, what have I got to hit now? Ah, that it seems like. It seems like that is what we're hitting. Okay. Well, boopity bop, up we go. Up, up and up. Ugh. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, the recovery. Oh my goodness. Final checkpoint, huh? That was very close. My life flashed before my eyes. Oh my. Huh. Okay. It's a weird place for a thing there. Probably would be better if it was on top. Probably would have been a bit better off. Special ready. Um, yeah, like, why isn't that large thing on top? Am I supposed to... I'm probably supposed to splat the splat switch to make it on top, but, like... I guess we can do that. That's what we can do anyway. Okay. Okay, so then that happens. And I'm aware of it this time. Oh, gosh darn it. What the heck? Yeah, apparently that is the answer. It's just a little bit weird. Yeah, it does make more sense to put it on top after all. Alright, let's see here. So we grab the thing for that. And then we have special? Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Alright, I cannot die here. I've got places to be. I must not die here. It's on top there. So I gotta jump from these things to these things. And then over to here. Watch me miss and then die. How sad would that be? That'd be like the saddest thing ever and Siri would have to play Despacito. Change of scenery, splat switch revolution. Isn't that crazy? It's funny, my doogie, she usually doesn't like petting affection, like, much at all. Sometimes, rarely, she's cuddly, but, uh, most of the time, she does not really like petting affection all that much at all. But she loves being near people. She loves being near the people that she cares about. So sometimes she's at the back of that office, sometimes she, she decides to move and decides to be, like, right next to me instead. Feeling a bit more comfortable. Right within arm's reach over there. And that means that she gets petted sometimes. Sometimes she's alright with it. Sometimes she'll like skedaddle back to the couch or like down the hall and be like, nope. That's enough petting. No more of that. But sometimes we'll find her just hanging out here as she is right now. The heck? What have we here? Hey? Huh? This, um, this area seems convoluted and weird, doesn't it? Oh, I just fall through the whole thing when I do that. Darn it. It'd be nice if this all, like, stayed inked. No, stay up. Eh? But why? Okay, well... <laughs> Well, it still shows me having like three lives here because it doesn't go down when I die though in this area Hmm So um 
So what the hell are we doing here? Game saved by unlocking that thing, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa. Oop. Okay. Where are we going? Over here? Whoa. Where am I going, though? Let's just go all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so we have the fast travel thing all the way down to the bottom unlock now. So that's nice, at least. Is there a level over there by chance? No, this is just the uh, number one fan over here. My biggest fan. That's a level, though. That would be a level, though. I don't know why they need to be invisible and have you, like, smackaroo them to be visible again. Wouldn't it be so much easier just to have them be visible in the first place? Especially when you're scrambling around a crazy kind of convoluted area trying to figure out where stuff is. Like, I guess that's sort of the point, but, like, is it a point that a lot of people want to, uh, play in there? Yeah, so I have a whole map here. Oh, and it shows the key over here. I guess I'm not used to freaking looking at my lap while I'm gaming. No, stop. Man. Man, why you gotta do this? So, yeah, the key is just, like, straight over there. Is the thing. Are they both, like, here on either side? Yeah, seems kind of like. It seems like. Got the thing. We got the thing. Julie, do the thing. Oopity bop. Okay. Can I make that jump without that dude's help? Let's hope so. Yep. Thankfully. Thankfully, that is the case. Hi, you want to, like, maybe not do things? Oh, I was a little bit scared about not quite making that jump. What? There we go. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness for that. All right, well, bada bing, bada boom. We gotta get another key here. So we gotta do. Maybe the gamepad will tell us something. Um, the gamepad will tell me that it's, uh, at this top left corner over here, I guess. Is what it is. Yeah, I think the next Wii U game that we play on this channel will most likely be on an emulator on my PC so that we can show the Wii U gamepad screen on the on the layout. I don't think it's too important for Splatoon they are playing it on the actual Wii U because that's what's easiest for me. It's a little bit more complicated to set things up in the PC, but, you know, show Wii U gamepad for some of these other games. It may well be worth it in those cases. We are gonna head out. It's 2 a.m. Have a great rest of the stream already. Appreciate you stopping by and hanging out up and down. Hope you have a good rest of the night. Well, I could sneak past that corner, even though it very much looked like I could. Man, that freaking sucked. All right. So we go ahead and do that. Get over here. Give to me the things. All the things. And look, replacement armor. So much better than my armor that I had before. So thank goodness I got this. Unlike that armor I had before that... Dang it, man! <sighs> you fell, better get back to the gusher. Yep. <sighs> Le sigh. Big le sigh. That's how French people sigh. Le sigh. Take my word for it. Okay, well. Make our way over here. Don't be sniping me midair anymore. Don't be doing it. You are so mean. Okay. Wah. We got this key. And then we bring this one here. I wonder if there's a way that you can grab that key down there. And then, uh, you know, just go use it on this thing over here. Like, get here early. Some speedrun trick. If that's a thing that speedrunners would do. You know? There's gotta be some kind of catch. Nope, there's not a catch. We just go up to it and... Not, like... A long straightaway up to the thing is gonna like drop down and there's gonna be things that happen, but I guess not. But I guess that is not the case at all, huh? Alright, well, that's another one down. Four more zapfish, huh? They're good, like seriously good. Okay, so what have we over here? This has gotta be a thing as well, right? Wait, what's this? Need more zapfish. So that's gonna be like the final boss thing. But how do I get back now? 
Eh? Can I fast travel back to anyone? Oh, I can tap the gamepad screen. I go back to, like, anyone that I've been to before. I guess. This has got to be a thing over here, right? No? Really? Really? Oh, but there's one here. Unavoidable flying objects. <laughs> Is that UFO? Unavoidable flying objects? By chance? Oh my. Hi there, another Octa Striker. Look at that. Okay, Octa Snipers too. Way up. Hi. You wanna maybe not? You wanna maybe not do your rude dude things? Oh, I guess I can't go that away. Guess I can't do that. So we'll make our way downtown and then uh deal with that uh, Octa Striker dude. I guess. Squizzy. Squizzy places to be. Where you stab? Um, got the key. No. Um, look around for it with the gamepad. Um, it's right over. It's right there, apparently. It seems like. Like, the gamepad was a cool idea for, like, menu management and stuff like that. But it's not a good idea for freaking maps, honestly. Like, let me just get this out there. So, uh, in cases like Wind Waker HD or Twilight Princess HD, it can be nice to have, like, a menu down on the gamepad screen when you want to take a moment, look down at the gamepad, rearrange your menu, or doing st similar stuff in something like Xenoblade Chronicles X, like doing the touchscreen, and, like, changing where all your mining nodes are and stuff like that all across the world. But something that makes your map be the bottom screen any other game that has like a mini map somewhere in the corner it's like you're looking straight forward and then you can just like glance up into a corner and you see it there and it's like nice and convenient and whatnot but all the wii u games that tried to have the gimmick of like the only map that you have is on the gamepad screen where it's like if you want to know what's going on here you gotta oh crap you gotta go from looking here to like that and then back and then like that and then back and then like that and then like just doing that over and over again it's the most annoying thing i hate it when freaking there's i hate it when nintendo games will be like oh here's this gimmick of that console let's absolutely play around that like just for the sake of having a having a gimmick around that like i feel like it's great for uh the keys over there apparently i feel like the wii u gamepad is great for like menu management in games like wind waker hd twilight princess hd or xenoblade chronicles x like, and it's fine having, like, a full map on the bottom of the screen, as long as you also have a mini-map, like, on the actual game screen. So that's, like, you can, you know, look on the mini-map and see stuff there. Like, in the game without having to look down. But to get, like, any map information that you actually need to progress, for, like, for example, like, the keys. The fact that I literally need to switch between going like that and like this and back and forth. It's how you freaking hurt your neck, and it's annoying. It's quite frankly just really annoying and tedious, and I like... We're gamers. We like doing things that are easy and convenient, having all the information there without having to, like, do this stupid thing, you know? So... So, like, I don't like it when Wii U games were like, yeah, let's just have our entire map on the bottom screen and don't have, like, a mini-map on the main screen at all when the map is a very important thing. Or, like, any freaking Nintendo games that are like, you know, gosh darn, I hit it with my lap again. Uh, any Nintendo games that are like, yep, let's absolutely use the main gimmick of the console, even if it makes the game experience worse. Like, we saw that in a lot of Wii games, where it's like, yep, let's have all our menu navigation be like a motion controls for, like, some games, even though, like, everyone's gonna hate it or whatnot. Or, like, the games that put in motion controls just for the sake of, like, it being a being a thing there like in cases like uh skyward sword on the wii that was actually like a lot of people hated it i actually quite liked the motion controls on skyward sword on the wii but uh that was using like the wii smart motion kind of thing more bob games like twilight princess on the wii having motion controls was where things were a little bit weird in my opinion hmm, well not a thing there but maybe a thing over here Maybe, maybe. Oh, I heard a thing. I heard it. But yeah, I hate it when games will like, will be like, yep, let's use the main gimmick of this technology, even when it makes our game experience worse. I don't like that. So, uh, 
Yeah, there's something there is something at least that's gonna be better about Splatoon 2 compared to 1 is the map is actually going to be on your screen there. But I'd bet you if they had the option for like a smaller screen on the Switch as well, in addition to the main TV screen, they would have absolutely done this stupid map thing again. Because Nintendo loves it when their consoles have like a new gimmick that can absolutely work in some incredible cases and be like really cool kind of stuff. But when they start just throwing stuff that plays around it into like all their games, just to be like, yep, that's what goes around our new technology gimmick. Even if when it makes the gameplay experience worse, it just sucks. Like it's great when there's game experiences that are made better because of these gimmicks. Like as I was mentioning, Xenoblade Chronicles X, Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, menu navigation and whatnot and managing multiple things at once. But if you're freaking, if you're only a, uh, if your only map that you desperately rely on is on the freaking gamepad screen that you need to keep looking down at, then I'm not gonna feel like, wow, this is so cool and innovative. The fact that I need to bend my neck down 90 degrees to look at the map. I'm just gonna be like, ow, I need to bend my neck down 90 degrees. What gives? Why is there no mini map on the screen? And just have a mini map on screen in addition to the uh, full map on the gamepad screen. And as well as like a pause button or like a or like minus or something like that on the on the Wii U here to just like pull up a map like where is minus on this thing? Oh, it's over there. I'm used to using switch controllers for a good while now, aren't I? My goodness, but yeah, minus does nothing, plus does that. So there's no way to view the map here. You have to be looking at the gamepad screen. <sighs> so silly. But a lot of freaking Wii U games have gamepad only modes anyway. So I'm sure if I switch this over to gamepad only mode, it would probably have a mini map on the main screen here. Oh, we can't have that now unless it's a setting. There's no settings here. Maybe between, maybe between levels. I'm curious to check that now, quite frankly. I'm curious to check it. Yeah, we'll shoot the sponges. We will shoot the sponge bobs. Is what we shall do. This really does not go very far at all, does it? Like, my goodness. Okay, stab. Stab that this instant. Okay, well. And we do that, and we go this way, and then we, um... Fine. Just to make sure I get it. Wah, there we go. Just so I had, like, a little bit of buffer space. Final checkpoint. There's a zap fish. Special ready. Don't let your guard down. Will do. All right, there's some of damn benches over there. There's what there is. Hi there. I'm um, high. Um, that took way too many freaking shots there, didn't it? There, bada bing, bada boom. So I just needed to do the uh, two. Okay. Works fine for me. Boop. <laughs> the zapfishes are always so stunned. And they really don't look like they want to be rescued at all. It seems like. My goodness. Alright, well, there's another thing that we can activate over here. I'll check if there's a second scrolls. And um, let's see here. If I press plus, it just does this. There's tank capacity, blast radius, burst bombs, seekers. Yeah. Sure. Level that up. Level that up, I guess. Cool. So then, um... Yeah, another zapfish. So we have two left to go. But, ah, my nose. But where could they be? Hmm? Not there, I guess. Any down this way? No? Probably a thing like over this way, right? Come on, activate that. Won't go that way quite yet, but uh. But let's see here. This has got to be a thing, right? Yeah. So this is a thing. Okay, so we'll have one more to track down. Will be the case, but uh. For now, second last one. I can spring up from anywhere. Oh, they're the seaweed ones. They're the ones that are now men from the SpongeBob movie. My goodness, now that we're men, we can do anything now that we're men, since they have the seaweed on them. <laughs> what not? Boopity bop. 
All right, let's see here. Give me the thing. Give the thing to me. Let him have it. I'll consider it. I won't do it quite yet, but uh, when the going gets tough, I will consider it. I will. Whoa. Why? Why? Let's not fall off the edge there randomly. That would be rather silly, wouldn't it? That would be a little bit silly of me. How about you don't? How about you just don't do that? Am I going this way? Maybe I have to go all the ways eventually anyway? What's the point of this? Eh? Am I going this way? Where am I going here? What's happening? Oh, this is our first scroll that we found in the middle of like a regular level instead of a uh, boss one. Wacky. My goodness, you want to stop? Did I actually get you with that bomb? Wow. I was expecting that to work. I just wanted to like zone you back a little bit while I got my bearings and got a better position and whatnot. Is all I really wanted to do. Quite frankly. Okay, well. Well, hi there. Stamp. Stamp that this instant. Whoa, I'm boosted at the video games. Holy crap. Hi, stop. What are you doing? I can do that too. <laughs> I can just be a freaking kid now, squid now, over and over again, just the same. All right. Hi, you wanna, maybe not? Stamp. Stamp, you're so rude. You are so mean though. Gah! Just throw it with such vigor. It seemed like. Nope, didn't get anyone there. Okay, yeer? That is yeer. A weird way of saying yay, maybe? Hi. Yeer and booyah is what we got. All right, so up we go. Um, see ya. Oh, I probably don't even need to fight you because I can just, uh... Okay, here we go, rumble at the ring, done. Okay, onward. Onward we go, game saved. Game saved, door stuck! Okay, um, look, we actually got a thing. That's like our first one there. A 2,000 year old fossil of a creature with an odd internal skeleton. Its small skull indicates the creature was likely primitive with little intelligence. This specimen appears to have been fossilized in the middle of some kind of ritual. It had very little intelligence because it was playing with the, uh, <laughs> the freaking Wii U gamepad that I like to break down, at least in my case. My Wii U gamepad, like, it's working. Like, it, I'm playing with it right now, technically, but, like, you know. Okay, recenter the thing. What are you trying to say about your consumers, Nintendo? I was saying that there's, like, a primitive dude there. So, what's this one at the top? That's not the one at the top. Oh, freaking, that's the whole different area. So if I tap things on the Wii U gamepad screen, what was that one at the, the highest one that we saw there? Because this looks like it would be a thing over here. Have I not checked up here before? No, that's the thing back to there. So where do I think this last one would be? On one of those or something? Huh. I almost heard like a little bit of Gusty Garden Galaxy in that tune. Do, 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 do. If not, it could be factored in pretty well. Whee! Um, what the hell am I doing here? What am I doing here though? Like, is there a thing here? Nope, sure isn't. I am very quite confused. Where are the things? And by things, I mean the final thing. It's just some somewhere down there. Like I hear that do, 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 do. I could absolutely lead into do, do, do. Yeah, there's that do, 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 do. Very similar to Gusty Garden Galaxy. Okay, well. No. Darn you! Okay, well. <sighs> Could it be that over there? Do I think? 
Not probably, right? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Huh? Oh, we high skill Vigia Jamin now. To your pinwheel power plant. Okay. Okay. Oh, my hands are getting sore from playing with the Wii U gamepad for the first time in years. The weird controller that it is. My goodness. There's X to debt and ZL to wait to ZL dash jump over the beams. Like these. Is that what you mean there? But yeah, I guess when it comes to Splatoon, the main kind of selling point of Splatoon is always going to be the freaking multiplayer and whatnot. And the single player more than anything is meant to serve as like tutorials for, you know, getting better at the controls and everything like that. You could say that it's a glorified uh, tutorial. Is what you could say. I was about to say, is my joy in my Joy-Con, my uh Wii U gamepad drifting a little bit to the left on its own? It might have been for a second, but it stopped, luckily. Luckily it stopped. Alright, let's be in our merry way down here. This is what we must do. Let's be on our merry way. We've got some places to be. We've got important squid business to attend to. As always, I need to attend to important squid business in real life as well. <laughs> I'll have you know. It's not just in this game here. But in real life, quite frequently, I attend to important squid business. Oh look, we actually got another thing. Actually got another thing, Rebob. Well, I wonder what 100% speedruns of this game look like. Okay, booby bop. Okay, smackaroo, get you out of here. Be gone, thought. Okay, we got another special at the ready. That I'm going to need to use here. Oh man, well, I was kind of hoping that maybe I could save it or something, but... Alas. Ooh, right in the edge there. So, uh... Whoa. Wee. Okay, everything is quite under control. The heck is going on over here, huh? Heck have we got going on over the Issa way? Alright, so I'll make the jump here. Like that. There we go. And then bada bing bada boom, we be on our merry way. Just like that. Alrighty, final checkpoint. Here we go. Um, how about you don't? How about you don't do those things that you were uh planning on doing there? Because they are so rude. All them things. So unbelievably rude. Hi, friend. How's it going? Alright, everything gets inked down. Stat. Whoa! Whoa! No, let me be on my merry way. Zapfish is up there. And that's gonna be the final zapfish we need to collect. Oh my goodness, I didn't get the speed that I wanted there. I didn't get it. Oh, there's a thing up right over there to the right, but whatever. But whatever. Did I? Okay, I didn't royally screw myself. We can. We can do things here still. Okay, perfect. Perfect. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Get booby bop. And bada bing bada boom, zapfish. So I've been streaming now for about three hours. And I guess we're about to beat the game here shortly. Cool.